All right, this is my DIY vestibule for my River Country Products Trekker 2.2. This is what's left of the canopy of an old Six Moon Designs Lunar Solo. It measures. Now this is cut at an angle this way and that way, and then it angles up, up to here and back down and that. So it's kind of cut at an angle. I worked with what I had, but anyway, it measures across this one is six feet. It measures three feet here, and it measures about four and a half feet on this angle and then three feet. And this across the center is four feet. Here's where I attach it. This is actually a pocket that you can put a trekking pole in, but my river country tent goes uh, point up. So here's a place I can put it, and then it just goes up in here. And then it mostly just stakes out. Now I will go and set up the tent and put this on it and show you what it looks like. Ciao. Okay. I didn't pull the sides out on the tent, but this is the DIY vestibule. And there is a lot of room under there. I mean, I've set a backpack out, I've cooked under there. You can even pull this piece out just like this and leave it that way. Or, and this is how I do it, if I can get all this, is I actually have a hook here and you just hook it in right there. And then all you have to do is just reach out and unhook it when you want to open it. But this is actually very large. I mean, this baseline here is from here to there, and then around to there is six feet. It's about four feet up the ridge line. And then these pieces on this side are about three feet. And then up here, it just clips, it hooks in right where the river country tent does. Because this is a uh, tip up on the trekking pole. And this is, I'm not sure even what that is, I don't remember. But it kind of duct tapes in there. And then that just holds it up there. This is just a piece of cord that I kind of wind around this a little. And that keeps it all in place. And that just kind of keeps it all like that. This, no, nothing really interferes with it. Uh... It does require me to bring four extra stakes. This stake is the one that's, that the River Country tent stakes out to. So it only requires four extra stakes. And, uh, but yeah, there's all kinds of room in here. It weighs, because this is older sill nylon. This thing weighs about an extra half a pound that it adds to the pack. But when you're camping in the rain or wind, it can make a really big difference in your comfort. So, that's how that works. Now, obviously, you could make it whatever size you wanted to your dimensions. You just kind of have to experiment with it. But that's it. It is very windy out here, by the way. Of course, I always have to close the video with that. Ciao. I forgot to give you one measurement. I forgot to give you the measurement from this inner corner up to the ridge area. That's 45 inches. And this is just what was part of the original tent. I just left it there. And that's about it. Uh, one could also use this. You could clip it out to something because it's a little baggy. But but that's probably all I better say about that. Ciao.